Hello, it's me Kapil Pandey. This is an assignment free of ITIC 1001 Communications and Technology called Individual Reflection Group Presentations. We have chosen a topic Cyber Security for this assignment. We have classified these contents into a various subparts. They are divided as uh, introductions, major problem in cyber security, importance of cyber security, solution to the problems that occurs in computer technology, and the conclusions of the assignment. Each of the parts are explained by the group members allocated for this presentation. Here are the list of the members allocated for this presentations with their students id as per content shown in previous slide i will give an introduction to the cyber security in this presentations my friends swege Bhattrai and bishes gautam will tell something about the importance and problems in the field of cyber security in the same way my friends smarika kharka will come out with the solutions to solve those problem mentioned by my friends Mrs. Gautam Sunar and our friends Ekada Adhikari will give a conclusion to the assignment. Now the point is what is cyber security? According to Cambridge English Dictionary, things that are done to protect a person, organization or country and their computer information against crime or attacks carried out using the internet is known as cyber security. Today, cybercrime causes huge problem for society, either personally, financially, and even in matter of national security. Hackers and scammers have hacked more than hundreds of millions of credit card numbers and other personal information. Different personal information and personal medical record have been hacked. Cybersecurity encompasses everything that pertains to protect our sensitive data, personally identifiable information, protected health information, and other confidential data. As a whole, cybersecurity is the protection of internet connected systems, including hardware, software, and data from the cyber attacks. Several types of personal and private confidential information are stored on a computer. Such data are hacked by the hackers for their personal benefits. Such type of cyber attackers get into the systems and access the files. Then they start to modify the files stored or also may remove the files from the data. They download the files and save this file into the programs and use for future purpose or for their personal benefits. Cyber security can also be known as computer security, web security, information technology security, and so on. Now, I want my friend Mr. Swegevatrai to say something about the importance of cyber security. Thank you, Kapil. My topic is why is cyber security important? In this growing world of technology, we humans prefer using technology in our daily life as much as possible. We depend on technology so much that if our technology is misused, we may have to suffer negative consequences. However, the same technology affects us negatively when it's vulnerable and would lead to loss of personal data as well as essential data. For example, we use alarm clock for waking up in time. If it gets disturbed, we bear the consequence by not waking up in time. Cyber security is also important because it not only safeguards our data but from hackers but also from different viruses and corruption of da data as well. This slide contains emerging technology in order of importance uh, um, image by uh, Global Data Technologies 2018 which tells cyber security should be prioritized because it controls and protects other technological developments. Anything that hinders cyber security it also hinders the growth of cyber technology. Moreover, it also shows how uh, cyber security is important than other technological deployments because it not only secures uh, other technolo technological devices and uh, deployments, but it also protects their privacy and uh, loss of data and data breaches. So what are the reasons for the growth of cyber crime? There may be several reasons for the growth of cyber crime, but the major three I have listed are a lack of preparedness and awareness due to the distributed nature of internet use of unlicensed device outdated software and unstable locking system 
So what does lack of preparedness and awareness mean? According to my example shown in this slide, lack of preparedness and awareness mean, means uh, or govern, or government of a particular country not never expecting of big cyber threats. Like I have given an example of Nepal. There was a recent cyber attack in Nepal. According to Nepal electronic payment system, the attack which was on a, a very mass scale was a cyber heist by Chinese hackers who stole around rupees 35 million Nepali currency which is around 335 Australian dollars. Ne they never expected of it happening and was the biggest cyber heist ever in Nepal. Uh, so we must always be prepared. We not only we but our government should always be prepared for such type of cyber crime. Next slide is due to the distributed nature of internet. What does it mean? The distributed nature of web services technology make it diff relatively easy to outsource parts or even all the applications and technology it runs on. Many ASP applications are built by bolting on a web server to existing applications. The web server can be managed and run by a third technology specialist, which also makes us uh, so to use such apps very vulnerable. Mm, there are uh, different web social sites, some banks, uh, those websites can easily be duplicated and may made such that first option will be shown as their fake website because of which users may lo lose their uh, personal data to a fake website, to a fake person. Mm, the misconception of cyber attackers being impatient seems to be myth because many cyber attackers try using a common password for an individual's every of his account. Uh, because of the lack of uh, com common sense of the individual, the cyber, the, uh, cyber attacker, attacker can easily access the victim's data and may use it for negative purposes like blackmailing him and taking money out from him and uh, giving it to a third party as well. Last but not the least, use of unlicensed device, outdated software and unstable locking system. The growth of uh, cyber secu security along with technological devices have evolved so much that uh, even the newest locking system in it fails it because uh, using devices manufactured by top brands will always be recommended by every expert because small brand manufacturers are new in market and though their device may seem extremely good but in comparison to top brands like apple samsung google etc they are not yet tested by big threats mm, the use of outdated software results in failing to protect the software from viruses which leads to loss of data and uh, corruption of uh, the system there are different types of locking systems in different device and different manufacturers. The big brands always prefer using 100% uh, effective uh, locking systems such as fingerprint scanner, retina scanner or pin or password protection. Though there is uh, a system face recognition which is still not uh, effective in comparison to other and can easily be hacked too. For presenting next topic, I want to hand over this presentation to my friend Bises Gautam. So we are going to discuss about some of the major cyber security problems. So the first one is phishing. Phishing refers to the method of tricking users into sharing confidential data to cyber criminals. So there are basically two types of phishing. First is called handing over confidential information. So in this method, hackers, they create an identical web page, which are actually meant to deceive the users into sharing sensitive data, download malware. It can also be done through mail and downloading malware. Now this is an example of phishing. As we can see, the login page is very identical to the original Facebook login page, but, but as can be noticed, the URL is different. Second one is virus. Virus is a computer program that causes misfunctioning of computer performance. They have, they have ability to spread to different computers where some can hide itself from virus scanning software. They can expose security flaws in computer operating system to run and spread automatically. They can steal our data, give some, give some unauthorized person to control over the computer, and so on. Third is ransomware. It is a cyber attack which encrypts the data and asks payment in return to access it. It can hold data into hostess. Once ransomware gets into the computer, it starts to infect every files. After it reaches to your computer, it makes the computer completely useless. WannaCry is an example of ransomware which had affected thousands of computers worldwide. Fourth is password attack. It is an attempt to gain users' password for illegal use and unauthorized access. Hacker can use cracking program, dictionary attack, and password sniffer in password attack. Moreover, 
Hacker can use malware which will keep record of every word type by user including the password. So basically there are three types of password attack. First is brute attack. In this attack, the attacker systematically checks all the possible passwords and passphrases until the correct one is found. Second is dictionary attack where every possible word in dictionary are attempted to crack the password. And, and lastly, hybrid attack is in blend form of both dictionary attack and brute attack. Fifth is botnet. It is a collection of infected computers that are remotely remotely controlled by a hacker. Once the malicious software is installed in the computer, then hacker will get remote access to that computer without its user awareness. Hacker can use this network to commit crime like financial fraud, malware distribution, identity theft, mailing of spam, storing illegal content, and many more. Meanwhile, user won't have any clue that they are infected. Next is drive by download. Hacker injects malicious code into web page which browser loaded automatically. Now it will create a gateway uh, for botnet. Similarly, it, it attacks to less secure software. It also helps to steal personal or confidential information of users. Next is denial of service attack. This attack shut down the web server by overloading the server. The most popular form of those attacks include sending a computer more traffic than it can hold. However, no data is lost, only the service is disrupted, which could be very harmful for some organizations. Man in the middle. As suggested by the name, the hacker or attacker gain the victim's data by staying in the middle of the connection between the victim and the entity they, they are trying to reach out. Cyber criminal needs access to an unsecured Wi Fi router, which can be a public hotspot or even a house network. Once they gain access, they can deploy tools to intercept and read the victim's transmitted data. This data could be some of the valuable data like credential file or banking information. Likewise, Trojan. They are malicious software that pretend to be authentic but do something different and destructive. Most Trojan are commonly created to take control of users' computer data theft and activating harmful software. Some of the tro some of the Trojan opens gateway for attackers, download undesired and extra malicious content, and access in denial of server attack. Last in the list is malware. Malware is the collective term for several components of malicious software, such as viruses, ransomware, and spyware. Certain malware generally consists of code created by cyber criminals to impose significant damage to data and system or to obtain unauthorized access to a network. Now I would like to hand over to Ismarika for further content. Thank you Vises. Now I would like to discuss about the solution to the problem on cyber security. There are mainly six solutions uh, to the problem on cyber security. Number one, regularly updating passport. The user must use a strong passport of maximum 10 words for cyber security. The passport must be the combination of letter, number and the symbol. The user must change their passport regularly and use different passport in different sites. This is the easiest way to keep the network and sensitive data secure. Number two, use a full service internet security suite. For the security problem like ransomware, uh, viruses, malware, we use a full service internet security suite. Some of the best internet security and software are Bitdefender, Northern 360, Train Micro, Micro Maximum Security, Avas Ultimate, WaveRoot, internet security plus and so on this security provides the real-time protection against existing and emerging malware including ransomware and viruses and also protect the private and financial information when we go online the third is training and awareness campaign in today's generation many people are being harassed stalk or bullied in online nowadays people are using internet negatively for their entertainment if we tease people about the acceptable use of internet then if someone is experiencing some kind of harassment also they can talk to their family members or friend without any hesitation by this way we can be able to stop cyber crimes and obviously the cyber will be secure 
Number four, watch out the link carefully. Sometimes the cyber criminal use phishing techniques through emails, mobiles, or social sites in order to steal the information such as bank account, credit cards, details, and personal details. We can identify the phishing um, with the help of suspects like grammar and punctuation, origin deadlines, offer large financial reward, and so on. Thus, we must be careful while accessing the links in any social medias. Number five, strong WEP, WAP encryptions on access point and strong router login credential. Strong uh, encryption mechanism on wireless access points help us to stop the unwanted person joining the same networks. A weak encryption mechanism leads a cyber criminal steal the information and uh, begin a man in the middle attacking. If any attack, if an attack finds the router login uh, credentials, they can change the DNS server to the malicious server, which can affect the router and the software therefore in order to prevent the man in the middle attacking we must use a strong inscription encryption and login uh, credential number six uh, bug boundary program another solution of uh, cyber security is bug boundary program bug boundary program is deal offered by websites, organizations, and software developers by which individuals can get reward for reporting bugs. It takes usually long time to detect the default in the software, so many organizations simply don't have the resources to identify every single bug. However, companies have decided to uh, outsource these tasks through bug boundary program. Both company, private companies and government agencies have applied bug boundary policy to help shore up their security, uh, software security. Uh, now for the further discussion, I would like to call Ekata. Thank you so much, Ismarika. Now I'm going to present about the conclusion of cybersecurity. In this era of modern technology, Cybersecurity is one of the most important aspects for this fast-paced growing digital world and the threats of it are hard to ignore and deny. So there need to put some step for the implementation of effective cybersecurity in order to minimize the cybersecurity threats. They need to create a responsible team to address the cybersecurity and protect our information and communication. Authorized persons should also protect the important data that can be hacked by hackers and use it illegally. And as we know that education is the best medium to over the people of all level would be a good initiative. That's why there need to be initiative for cyber security transformation education at all level of the curriculum. At last, we hope that our presentation will be helpful to provide some knowledge about cyber security and need to focus on it immediately. And it also awaits the people about evolving cyber threats and some solution to implement on it. And thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Ekata. Not only Ekata, I want to thank to all my friends for the collections of data and fact in terms of cyber security. Hope you all have a good day. Thank you.